Yo, what up, what up? There is your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beats. Yes, and in today's video, I'm just going to show you how um I came about using parallel compression to get a um, thick um vocals or thick mix. Yes, so without wasting my time, first of all, I would like to play the song for you, it's a gospel song, so I would like to play it for you to listen to it first. Then I just break it down for you guys how I mix everything, then show you the parallel compression. Okay. But please don't forget to subscribe or like this video and comment also. All I want in life is all you have in mind. So me before you fall in trap, God of all. Miracles, here I am. I know you can do what no man can do. That is you, my God. I know you. Sorry for the breakages because of my CPU. Um, there is a whole lot of things that I'm trying to do. Okay, a quick announcement. Um, I'll be doing a promotion this week. As in, uh, I'll be mixing the mastering songs for free. Um, this week. So it start from Monday. To Friday, um, whoever send me their song from Monday to Friday, I will go ahead and mix it and master it for you for free. But after Friday going, if you send it, please, I can't do that for you for free. I can't mix and master it for you for free. So if you want your song to be mixed and mastered it for for free, then just take that advantage as in from Monday to Friday. Just send me your song through the email which is in the description. Just go to the description then. Um, send it through the uh, email and please the rule is um i don't know the kind of daw that you are using if you're using cubase or anything how you play your beat if your beat is mix and mastered nice but if it's not mix and mastered and you want me to mix the beats together with the vocals and everything uh, make sure you bounce everything to waves yes so that i can actually work with it um, because maybe your tones that you select or the kind of um drums that drum samples that you are using i might not have it so bounce everything to waves and make sure you have a good recording yes you don't have to record anything like that and send it to stress me out just have a good recording and make sure everything is intact as i said earlier on then send it through the email then i'll work on it and send it back to you for free okay so that's the promotion that i'm talking about so let me go ahead and show you how let first listen to um the raw vocals so if you look at this, I've rewired the beat to FL Studio here. So I was mixing the beat together with the vocals here. And I was changing sounds which were not actually okay with me when I started playing the beat here. So if you look at this, the beat, yeah, simple beat. So we are talking about vocals, so I'm not just going to go through the beat. So if you look at this, if you listen to the raw vocals, let me mute every plugin and everything here. Um, yes. So I've just sent um, the lead vocal to the group because of CPU problems and stuff. So if I mute everything and there's the raw vocals. It's all you have in mind. Johnny Bo, before you fall in trap. God of all miracles, here I am. I know you can do. Okay, so a very clean vocals. What? Um, you can see here I did in the first place was I have to adjust the volume together with the beat. Some of, you know, most of the time the compression help us with um, um, whereby if you're, you're having a very low wave like this and some of them being big like this, meaning that part will be playing louder than the ones which are actually small like this. So I was just trying to use this to control the volume level, you get it before i moved on with my compression and other stuff because sometimes you use the compression and it doesn't help yes and the vocal doesn't sound too thin it sounds okay i want in life is all you have in mind johnny po before you fall in trap god of all miracles yes it sound okay and right so but whenever you add a beat to it and you are playing you can clearly hear that the vocals is too down and um it doesn't actually sit properly on the beat for you as you really want it to be so the parallel compression helps it to make it thick and um, 
also make sure that I sit on the beat properly for you. So first of all, what I did is um, I just tune it. So he's singing in A major and um, I put the return speed around 15. I, I didn't want it to be like a robot or something and I brought the humanize up. So you know what the um, auto tune does. Okay, so let's move on to the steps. First of all, what I did was to put C1 gate here. And you know, if you have been following my tutorials here, you can clearly see that I do use the C1 gate a lot. Yes, other people use other um, denoiser and uh, X click, X noise, and uh, the rest. But most of the times, I love to use this plugin a lot. So this is actually blocking all the background noises for me. But you have to uh, make sure you set it at the correct level because sometimes if you don't listen clearly, it might be um i mean muting some part of the real vocals there so you just have to listen clearly as you are just setting the gate there okay so that's the work of the gate and the eq this is my eq settings i use this far filter eq you can use any eq of your own choice so if you are, if i play it now if it's all you have in mind the bow before you fall in trap without the eq this is how it sounds Life is all you have in mind. With it, Sonny Poe, before you fall in trap. Yeah, you can see that I was cutting some of the low ends around 110 hertz. You get it? Then I removed some of the bad frequencies, which I didn't like with this EQ. So the next thing was just to compress it to make sure I'm having a good dynamic range. Yes. So. All I want in life is all you have in mind. With the compressor on it, you can see that Sonny Poe, the volume level actually go down. God of all miracles, here I am. And it is being played at a very good uh, volume level. So listen to it without a compressor. Sonny Poe, before you fall in trap. God of all you hear. miracles. Yeah, I am. You can clearly hear that this part was really down down here, but if you put a compressor on it, this is what we are having now. Sonny Poe, before you fall in trap, God of all miracles, here I am. Yes, now, and whenever you are doing this, make sure your beat 2 is still on so that you will be getting a very good um, mix. You can mix the vocals to sound good, but when you add the beat, you can see that you are not getting what you really want to hear. So the next thing was the DSR. You know the DSR just to bring out some of the sibilances. Yes, and this is what I'm using, Far Filter Pro DS, and I just adjust the threshold together with the um, range. So if you listen together with the beat and everything. <laughs> I know you can do what no man can do. That is true. So if you listen together with the beat, you can actually hear that um, the vocals is actually down than the beat. So I put another compressor on it just to make sure that I'm getting some kind of volume and also not um, distorting. So all I want in life is all you have in life. That is compressor. That's what we are having. So I'll just compress and it again because I don't like to use one compressor. I don't want uh, one compressor to do all the work. You get it? The work is going to be too much for that compressor. So I have to share it for, I mean, two or three compressors. It depends on what I really want to hear and I want to get. And I don't actually also use one EQ. I use two or three EQs. So that's what I'm having again. So I put this EQ again just to cut some of the low ends. And um, still, I was having some kind of mad frequency, so I brought it around 150 hertz this time around and cut some of the low ends and boost some of the high ends just to get some crispy sound or um, or some air in it. All I want in life is all you have in mind. So, without this EQ, trap, God of all miracles, here I am. I know you can do what no man can do. It brings the clarity up more than with this EQ than without it. So the next thing is because I boost the high ends, I have to put another DSR just to tame the sibilances again. Yes. So 
the magic here is the parallel compression so first of all let me just so you know i i did added my reverb to it so if you listen to the vocals with the reverb this is how it goes before you fall in trap god of all miracles here i am and these are my settings for the you reverb can do what no man can do that is you okay then the next thing was um so the reverb is a reverb send so i had to uh um, match it together with the beat what i feel is okay for me i and for this song i really wanted more reverb on it i want to hear the reverb i didn't want to feel the reverb you get it if you want to feel the reverb then you just have to back up by back off a little bit with your send but i wanted to hear the reverb on it and also the delay this is the delay that i'm using stop plugging from um cubies so if you listen to them that's what you're having all i want in life is all you have in mind Johnny Poe, before you fall in trap, God of all. So together with the beat, that's what we are having now. All I want in life is all you have in mind. Johnny Poe, before you fall in trap, God of all. Miracles, here I am. It's kind of nice and sound good and everything. Yeah, some people will go ahead and just try to bring the volume up because the vocals is actually down and the beat is overshadowing the beat yes you can do that and sometimes it doesn't help for you to uh, make sure that the the, uh, the vocals sit on top of the beat you get it so the parallel compression will give you a heavy vocals and it will just mix it together with it and make sure that you are getting some kind of um, vocal sitting on your beat yes so there is what i have uh, at my parallel compression i did it as a sin you create an fx and then you just come to your and there's the compressor that i'm using so cl cla yes 76 stereo we have the black here and the blue so i'm using the blue here and my attack is all way down and my release over and my ratio is around four so what i'm adjusting is this and this you get it the input and the output whereby this is giving me much volume and this is actually controlling that it shouldn't be too much on it yes so after setting that and i'm having a, compre a limiter on it um just to make sure that at this threshold whenever it's around negative for it shouldn't bypass that threshold so i'm limiting the volume and the how it's supposed to compress it with this limiter and i'm sending it to the group where the vocals is actually um being mixed so without the parallel compression this is how it sounds Johnny Poe, before you fall in trap. And with the parallel compression on it, listen to how heavy and how great it will become. Johnny Poe, before you fall in trap, God of all miracles, here I am. Without the parallel. I know you can do and with the parallel. what no man can do. That is you, my God. So you can actually tell the difference now, right? Um, so the parallel compression actually makes it heavy and also brings the volume up a, a little bit for the vocals to sit and mix perfectly with um, our beat here. So if you listen to it, oh, sorry for the C CPU breakages. Um, um, I hope in the nearby future everything will change more than this. All I want in life is all you have in mind. Johnny Poe, before you fall in trap, God of all. is you my god i know you never feel okay so that's that go ahead and practice with your parallel compression you get a heavy mix and everything so if you want your song to be mixed and mastered for you make sure you just send it through my email there and um i'll go ahead and work work on it for you start from this monday to friday okay this your boy can see straight from busy home beat if you like it whatever i'm doing here make sure you subscribe to this channel like and also comment in this video yes and i'm out